What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today. We are going to be showing you all the new cards and new epics and boosters and legends. Some released, some unreleased. We are going to start with Free Frank Ribery. So this is essentially the same as the Neymar card they released for Santos Neymar back in eFootball24. This is going to be eFootball 2025's free penalty shootout, daily game, daily login, whatever you want to call it, Frank Ribery. It is a booster there. He's got a second slot as well. Those are his stats. You can check them out and everybody will get him after you complete one round in the board. On top of that, we also do have the daily game box and you're going to have two legends in here. You're going to have Tony Adams here who looks like this, 25 years of age. He's got the shutdown max booster. You can add another one. Those are his skills. Those are his stats. We'll go into reviews when the players come out or when people get them. And you also have 36-year-old Bex as well. And of course, Beckham is going to have the passing stat there with another booster. All of these cards, the new epics have double booster. And on top of that, we do have another card here, which is called the Didier Drogba box. And this is an older, a 36 veteran Didier Drogba. He is going to look like this for Galatasaray, physicality. And of course, he's going to have those skills and stats. Now, on top of that, we also as well got the Neymar special edition, the Messi special edition and the free Messi here. So we're just going to quickly go into this. Obviously, there's a Pep Guardiola here as well. Now, this Pep Guardiola is not on PC, but that is the double booster Pep Guardiola there. And of course, you've got the Neymar. That's just a quick build of him. And we have Messi here. That's the quick version of Messi there. These cost 25 quid each. This Pep Guardiola costs, I think it's one pound or something like that. And then we, not to forget, we have the free Messi as well, which is the double booster. And that's the free Messi there, right? As I said, there is another David Villa in here as well. If you go into shop, I'm not too sure what it's on, but it is on PS5 and Xbox. I don't know about Steam or mobile, if you can get these, but it is in here. So Pep Guardiola will be in here as well. The one I just showed you. And I think it's like, what, one euro, I think. And you get Pep Guardiola and you get 50 coins back. And then David Villa and the three players you see here, here. This is the David Villa here that you can see. Um, this is his double booster there. It's a 33-year-old David Villa, and that is his booster and skills and stats, right? And that costs you $2.99, whatever your currency is, right? Now, we're going to head over to eFootballDB because there's a ton of unreleased legends and epics. Let's get straight into it. All right, lads, so they've added a ton of new epic boosters, right? Now, these boosters that you see here are going to have all a double booster, the same as the cards I've just been showing you, right? So you've got Ronaldinho, who we know is going to be coming, and from left to right here, we have a couple of cards that have got stats and skills, and you can go into their cards. I'm using eFootball DB here. You've got Ronaldinho, who's going to be a double booster. He looks prime. Ronaldinho looks insane. You've got Deco from the same type of squad. You've got a new Oliver Kahn. You've got a new Honus card that looks to be kind of like from the 70s. And you have Gooley here as well as Roy McCoy, who's a new one. Drogba, we already saw. Tony Adams, we already saw. This Fernando Torres looks to be an exclusive uh, for Japanese region or the Asian region. Um, so I'm not too sure about that card, whether it'll come here. And that Villa is there. We already saw Beckham and Guardiola and Frank Ribery. But these cards over here do not have any stats, any skills. They basically just have their assets as, as placeholders, okay? So it means that these cards are going to come very quickly. Obviously, a lot of them are in the game, but I reckon Ronaldinho will come uh, very, very soon. But you have got brand new cards that are going to be, going to be coming here that are going to be brand new boosters. Batistuta, Raziki, Morientes, Dida, Carlos, Burkamp, and so on and so on. Some cards don't even have, like, you know, levels, ratings, anything like that. Some don't even have assets. So there's going to be probably new, unreleased, unannounced legends here. Now, there's a couple of interesting ones that a lot of people have been kind of asking me about. Um, and most notably, it's probably Cannavaro. And I would also say uh, Michael Owen from Manchester United is a very, very random one. You've got Schmeichel there as well, who has no club kit. He just seems to be an unaffiliated uh, player there. And then, of course, we do have Portos Casillas, who's got the logo and the badge there. You've got uh, Demetar Berbatov who is there. You've got a new Eric Cantona as well that looks to be like a younger version Cantona. You've got a brand new Philip Lamb. And then very interestingly, lads, you do have a Bojan Korkic card. Now, this is going to be interesting. Obviously, people that would have played Pez back in the day would have realized when Bojan came on the scene, he was insane in the game for Barcelona. Him and Alexandre Pato were unbelievable for Milan and Barca at the time. And then, of course, you do have the Neymar card there with, with Messi. Now, we still have a couple of unreleased cards that were part of the old booster set. But that is pretty much all of these cards here, right? And their ratings will be updated. Berbatov is an interesting one. Obviously, we would still like to have a couple of the legend cards that have been, you know, not released yet. I mean, obviously, we've done up a couple of mock-ups 
as to what cards could potentially come and hope to come but i do feel like that there are some nice boosters here whether they'll be prime you know goat versions of the cards it remains to be seen but yeah it is going to be very very interesting all eyes will be on this ronaldinho as well obviously he is meant to be coming out on the 13th or else the 16th so it's going to be interesting but which one are you looking forward to i will talk to you later let's don't forget to smash the subscribes and the likes and i'll talk to you in a bit let me know in the comments below which one you're looking forward to peace